Hi there, Little Plum here, and welcome to my Minecraft channel. I have something that I would like to do today. If you can see below my feet here, it's kind of hard to see. There we go, you can see it a little better. I have the number 32 down there. That's how much experience I have. And once you hit the level 30, you can start enchanting things like you can start getting really good enchantments. With a lower number, you can get lower level enchantments, but once you hit 30, it's like, poof, you get the really good ones. And so I really want to go make an enchanting table and I want to try to enchant some of either my tools or my armor, because right now nothing's enchanted and it's kind of like not so cool. I think it's time to get some better gear, upgrade some stuff, some enchanting, and we need an enchantment table for that. So let's get started. This is early game, I'm telling you guys. So I don't have like anything. I've got some iron tools, um, and I had been looking for some diamonds, and I found some. Where did I put them? Here. I had found 21 diamonds at some point, which is great, because, you know, diamonds are pretty darn helpful. And I'm gonna use those today, and I'm gonna make myself a diamond pickaxe. We need some sticks. Diamond pickaxe. We'll just make one. And we'll put those diamonds away so they don't get lost. What we need to do with this diamond pickaxe is we need to get some obsidian because we need obsidian for our enchanting table. Now I was walking around and I happened to find two pieces. So that's already a, a helpful start, but we're gonna need more than that. Actually, how many are we gonna need? Let's look. Let's go over here, just click on our crafting table. Let's click this button there so we can see everything, not just the things that we can craft. And oh, it's gonna be here by the bed, isn't it? Let's go down, 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 up maybe, maybe it's up. Where's the enchanting table? Mm -hmm. No, here it is, enchanting table. Okay, we're gonna need four pieces of, of obsidian right there. I have two, so we're gonna need two more. Two diamonds I've got and a book. I don't have any books yet, but it's okay. I've got some cows, I've got some leather, I've got some sugar cane. We're gonna be able to make a book. First things first though, let's go get that obsidian. Uh, I'm going to get a water bucket. Oh, flower, you belong there. Sometimes you can find obsidian. Water bucket. Where's my water? Here we go. I'm gonna grab two, because sometimes I make mistakes. Sometimes you can just sort of find obsidian, but other times you have to make it. And what you can do is, is you can use lava, and if you put water on a lava block, it will turn into obsidian. If you put lava, put water next to flowing lava, you'll get cobblestone, but we're not gonna do that. We're gonna do some stationary lava. So let's go find some lava. Now, the reason I needed the diamond pickaxe is, is that's the only pickaxe that will actually break obsidian. It won't work if you're using anything else. Like, you can sit and you can mine and mine and mine if you're using an iron pickaxe or a wood pickaxe and you won't, nothing will break. So in the very beginning here when I was mining, I remember I hit some lava. Was it here? Yes, it was here. It was at the end of this little thing here. See that block here? Oh, no, no, it wasn't here. Where was it then? What is this? I don't remember this. Mm, okay, well, no lava. Was it here? No, that must have been coal. I bet it was over here somewhere because I had started building another long thing here. You know what, maybe I'm too high up. Lava usually comes lower. I bet you maybe it was down. Let's go down here. I bet you it was in my lower levels. Uh-oh, you know, I might get hungry. I've only got one piece of chicken left. Hmm, well, I have some wheat. I can make some bread. Down here is where I was mining at the lower levels. And there was a point where I hit lava somewhere. Was it in this thing here? No. Here, let's look. Uh, 
down here maybe? Ouch, 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 ouch. Yes, here, I hit lava. Okay. So I'll show you what happened here. Let me just get ready. There's lava. Okay, good. That means probably right up above us, there's some lava. Let's try this and see what this looks like. Okay, that's safe. Safe, safe, all right. Safe, safe. I have to be cute. Oh, not a good idea with lava around. Also not a good idea with lava around. Here we go. There's our lava. Okay, it's one up, it looks like. Let's go one more up. Okay, there's probably no lava here. Is this gonna be safe for me? Okay, I need to be able to jump. There's our lava, okay. And it looks like I can get to it without getting burned. Okay, ooh, ooh. Okay, so we have a lava river. All right, excellent. Let's do that. Oh, I'm so unprepared. I'm hungry and I don't have any food. There we go. Oh, now I have two. Oh well. Go figure, right? Let's make some bread real quick so I don't starve completely. I hope this will be enough. I guess we'll eat our chicken first. Okay. All right, I'm going to actually, I'm gonna block this one piece of lava there because that's one that keeps dripping and that's not what I want. I want, this lava that is not flowing. Okay. All right, so I'm gonna put down, it's gonna get real dark. There we go. And perfect. Ooh, pretty. Okay, so I'm going to also just sort of here and then here. I actually put a torch up so I can see what I'm doing. I'm a little bit worried because there's probably lava down here. No, okay, good. All right, let's put that block back. So that means that there won't be lava underneath me. So let's get this obsidian. This is gonna take a while, guys, a long time. One, I'm gonna guess that this one's gonna be okay. Two. Actually, let's just get four pieces. Three. There might be lava under this one, too. Four. Okay. I figured. So, you see how that lava, it wasn't flowing, and then you end up with... Um, Obsidian, let's take this empty lava. Let's grab a piece right there. And we're gonna put some flowing lava down. This is gonna be a little bit scary. I'll just show you what happens when you put water next to it. So that's flowing. We'll put water next to it and then you end up, wherever the flowing lava is, you get cobblestone. So this was where, here where the torches was where our lava block was, that turned into obsidian. Here where the cobblestone is was flowing lava. Here was flowing lava, and those end up as cobblestone. But if you get the standing lava, oops, I'm stuck, you're going to get the obsidian. So we have our four pieces right there. That's all we need for our enchanting table. Let's go back before something bad happens. I'll just have to remember. Oh, actually, you know what? It's always helpful to have some little clues to let you know where you are and where you're going. 
So I'm gonna actually grab one piece of obsidian as a clue for later. Oh, and I'm gonna leave that open. Uh, actually, let's do this. If there's one underneath, I'm gonna leave that open so we have some more light. And hopefully I won't forget to bring a water bucket next time we come. Oh, no, oh, oops. Just to remind us that the obsidian and the lava is down there, I'm going to use one block right here as a reminder. Okay, good. You know, you got to take notes because you think you're going to remember where everything is, but then, you know, you forget, you get distracted, you start doing other things. It's helpful to have little systems of notes to help you remember things. You don't get lost. Here we go, let's keep going. Almost there. Follow the torches, right? <laughs> you notice the torches are all on my right side? That's so that I don't get lost. As I'm digging and doing things, I put them on my left, so I know I have to find them on my right in order to get out. Still sometimes get lost. I mean, who doesn't, but it helps. Almost back. Here we go, we're in the plum pit. And now let's go head over to Mirabella Shores, the Mirabella Shore house. Ah, oh, we're almost there, I can see the wood. Ooh, the wheat's growing really well. Oh, and I have, that's right, I have some carrots. I got a zombie in. He dropped carrots, which was awesome. Let's see if we can get another baby cow. All right. So let's craft our enchanting table. Oh, it's night out. Let's get our diamonds and we have our obsidian. What else did we need for that? I think I might be, oh, we needed a book. Okay. Book. So to make a book, we need some sugar cane. We're going to use that to make some paper. Oh, there's a cartography table. That's good. I'm gonna, we're going to want one of those too for a different project later. So we have paper. Let's grab some leather. Those cows are loud. 21 books. You know what? I'm going to make a whole bunch. It's so helpful to have these books. We're going to need them later for some other things. Also with the enchanting table, let's just make a whole bunch, all of them. Okay, got it? Enchantment table. Bam. Got it. Now where to put it? Let's see. You know what? I think I'm going to put it down in the plum pit for now. Oh, let's... Now, one thing with the enchantment table, I'll just put it down there for right now. Wasn't it pretty? I think I have to use a diamond pickaxe to break it, but I'm not sure. I hope I can break it without losing it. Oh, good. All right. The thing with the enchantment table is that it works better when you have a lot of bookcases, a bookshelf. There's one. Let's see how many more I can make. I need some wood, it looks like. Let's use that birch wood. Let's see how many more I can make before I run out of the... Okay, and now I think I am out of books. I still have eight books. I still have six leather. Oh, I could use some more paper. Good thing I have so much of this sugar cane. When I am first playing the game and I find sugar cane, it's always like, let's plant as much as we can, get as much as we can right in the beginning so that we can make as many books and bookshelves as possible. Three, one, two, now I'm probably out of books. Yep. So I can make eight. I really need 15 bookshelves. So I need seven more. I'm about halfway. All right, guys. I need to do this to you. Sorry, babies.
eight. Well, let's see how many more bookshelves we can get. Eight more books. Can we get three more? Okay, we can get three more. One, two, three. How many more do I need? Four. Oh well, I think we'll just do it with what we have so far. Well, no. Four more. I think we can get four more. So let me go get a few more pieces of leather. I think I'll find some animals milling around <laughs> and get some more books. And I'll be back once I have all 15 bookshelves. And then we'll go ahead and start our, do our first enchantment. Can't wait. That'll be exciting. Ah, isn't this lovely? Caught a cow. All right, I have my bookshelves now. So, um, let's go real quick. Getting those bookshelves also required me getting some grillables. So let's get those going. And let's take our bookshelves and our enchanting table. And oh, there's one more thing we need. Some lapis lazuli. And I'm at 33 levels now. I'm going to actually set up my enchanting table for the time being just sort of down here. And I'm not sure where it's going to end up. But I think right now we're going to put it in the plum pit, actually. Then I think we'll move it later. But for the time being, we're going to put it here in the plum pit because I've got some space here that I'm not using. Is there anything in here? There is. Let's clear that out. And let's clear this out. Good. And here. And what we're going to do is we're going to need a little bit more space, I think. So we'll do this right here. And for the enchanting table, it works just putting it down as an enchanting table, but it works better when you have bookshelves. So we're going to put the bookshelves around there and there can be one block between them. So the bookshelves are going to be here. This will be a space. And then we're going to put our enchanting table here. Okay. So see, you can put it in like this, put in your lapis lazuli, and then you can put in your, um, your tool or your armor, and then you can have some choices. Unbreaking one, unbreaking one, unbreaking one. Okay, yeah, and they're very low level enchantments. But let's place our bookshelves. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10, 11, 12, and then we're going to put them over here. Oh, 13, 14, 15, and I actually have a 16th, so I have an extra. So now when we go on our enchanting table, we should be able to get super high level enchant. See that one there with the 30 on the bottom? That's going to be a good one. Unbreaking three. Um, Let's see what's another choice. I'm breaking two, I'm breaking one, I'm breaking three. You know what? I think I'm going to take it. Sometimes you get some extra enchantments with it. I'm going to cross my fingers that we do and we're going to take it. Unbreaking three. Oh, and I got efficiency four. Well, I have to say that's pretty darn good. And I still have 30 levels left. So I still have a spot to do one more high level enchantment. Let's see, my sword's in bad shape, my ax is in bad shape, my iron pickaxe is in bad shape. Let's go grab a new, oh, perfect. I've got a crafting table right here. Let's grab ourselves a new pickaxe. Oh, I need some iron, don't I? Not a pickaxe, we're gonna get a new sword. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. How about a diamond sword and pants, diamond pants. Okay, let's see what kind of enchantments we can get with those. All right, here we are. Let's try the sword and see what it is. Sharpness, oh, that's good. What's this one? Fire protection, hmm, I like sharpness better. We're gonna take that. Right, and now I'm down to 27 levels. So now the high ones won't be available anymore because I won't have the levels. Oh, protection four, that's gonna be a good one. That's what I'm gonna want. All right, let's, <laughs> let's see how we do this. Let's put down, let's hide that little chest back there. And I'm going to put my pants in there 
and I'm going to save them for when I'm back up to 30 levels there on the bottom. Right now I'm at 27. I'm going to be up at 30 and then I'm going to go get my protection. I was so worried that I was going to die or that something was going to happen to me and I would lose all of my experience levels because when you die you lose your experience. You can get up to maybe six if you're lucky and find a bunch of orbs but you're going to lose that 30 and it takes a while to get up there from breeding sheep, from mining coal, from smelting different things in the furnace and so it takes some time especially in the beginning so I'm so happy I've got a diamond pickaxe out of it with a bonus enchantment of efficiency and I've got a diamond sword oh I got unbreaking I got a bonus enchantment too that doesn't always happen but it happened here today so that was pretty lucky cool well I'm excited guys thank you for coming with me now I've got some better gear with my blue diamond pickaxe which is sparkly and my diamond sword. Oh, this is so exciting. Now I can, you know, go out and do some more things and not have to worry about so many monsters. Cool, I'm excited. Well, thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please hit a like and consider subscribing and we will see you later. Cheers. Yes, I'm scratching my back. I have to do it again, it's so funny. <laughs> Bye guys.